Oh, hello again. Welcome to the VK6CS Amateur Radio Channel. Now, uh, a couple of people have asked me about this uh, this vacuum uh, capacitor business. Since I mentioned the uh, the vacuum capacitor that uh, I put in the box to tune the magnetic loop the other day, uh, I'm trying to think where I put that now, but um, never mind. Um, so, so basically, a vacuum capacitor. Um, is uh, pretty much the same as uh, does the same job as an airspace capacitor or with regard to uh, tuning radio circuits it's just that it uses a vacuum as the dielectric and the vacuum is a much better insulator than air so the breakdown voltage of the capacitor I mean these these veins will probably flash over at uh, 3000 volts or so um, this is a 250 puff 250 puff uh, per section this one here is a 500 puff, uh, puff being pigafarad. Now this capacitor here, um, this is a, uh, a larger vacuum cap than the one that I put in the box to tune the loop. The one that I put in the box to tune the loop is a 200, uh, I think it's 5 to 250 picofarad at 5 kV peak, 3000 volts RMS. So it's going to be the same rating as that, but much smaller because it's, it's, a, it's a vacuum cap. This one here is um, much larger. Uh, this one is 25 kilovolts and this is 5 to 100 picofarads. Okay, and I think you can put an awful lot of current through these. I was looking at the specs of this the other day. I'm fairly sure this one came from QROparts.com. Uh, if you look on the, uh, on the internet, they do quite a lot of high power uh, parts um, um, from Russia. Now, um, as you can see, it's, it's glass, it's got a vacuum in it, there's a shaft on the end, it's quite a nice one actually. It's very nice. Uh, this is, actually, I'll see if I can zoom in on that. Let's get the, um, let's get the ATU out of the way. Let's get that one out there. Like that. Sort of feel obliged to groan. Well, I'm not in that bad shape, really. Okay. So, I'll see if I can just zoom in on that vacuum cap. There's another one, uh, another variable capacitor there. That is pretty much the same as. Uh, actually, let's just put that back up there. I don't want anything to happen to that because that is that is not mine. That vacuum capacitor. I don't want to have to buy another one of those. Okay, so this one here, 250 puff per section. This does exactly the same job. This one here. I'm quite sure what the rating of that one is. But um, that's not got a bad rating on it. I mean, th that would certainly be okay for most amateur radio applications, that kind of, uh, that kind of spacing on the veins. You can probably see that there. No, don't have a... Don't have the pencil handy to drop between the veins to show you how far it will go, but I mean that's a that's a reasonable amount of spacing there. I hope you can see that. It's not very not terribly light in here, but um, so that even though that that's down there and that one's up there, that does the same job as that one. As you can see, both of the uh, both of the sections of that capacitor are um, at the top. If one of those was down the bottom, it wouldn't make any difference. So that's that. It does exactly the same thing. Let's see if I can zoom in on this vacuum capacitor um, and uh, show you what's written on it. Mm -hmm. Mm. Looks like something out of a Nikola Tesla doc documentary, doesn't it? Uh, okay, that might just be a little bit too much. There we go. Now, uh, if you get any of this stuff from uh, Russia, you'll see that it has this sort of thing written on it. I don't know whether you can see that because I can't see the viewfinder. But it says 25KB for Bravo, a little K, big B. That means KV. That's Russian for kilovolts. So that's uh, 25 kilovolt. 5 to 100, there's an N, and then there's a circle with a sort of vertical bar through it. 
and that means uh, that's Russian for picofarad. So if you see those markings on these capacitors, you'll be able to tell what they uh, what they are. So you could tune a pretty decent um, you could tune a loop antenna with a fairly decent amount of power with that 25,000 volt capacitor, five to five to 100 puff. Um, as I say, the one I've uh, put in the box to tune my loop is a much lower voltage working. It's certainly fine for running 100 watts into a loop, but it's 5 to 250 puff, which will give me a much wider um, tuning range. 100 puff might be a bit on the small side, so the actual tuning range on the loop might be, uh, might be limited compared with the other capacitor, but um, can certainly put a lot more power into it, um, in, into the loop with a, with a capacitor like that. And uh, you know, usually the way these are done is you know you'd have a, a clamp round there and a clamp round there that'd be mounted on ceramic insulating pillars, and you'd have a shaft that would come off there, which would with with uh, with an insulated uh, coupling to a, a motor, so you can actually tune it. And uh, if you can see that, um, actually, I'll just turn, turn that viewfinder around. I've had trouble with this viewfinder in the past, where up is down, down is up. Oh, actually, that's not so bad. I think you can see it from there. You'll be able to see, as I, as I turn the shaft, you can see that plunger going in and coming out of the bottom there. You see that moving? See that moving in and out? As I'm, uh, as I'm turning that shaft, so it's multi-turn, and the one I've got on the uh, on the mag loop is a multi-turn, um, 250 puff. So um, uh, that makes it because they're very very sharp. Uh, the tuning on them is very very sharp, and having a multi-turn capacitor makes it uh, so much easier to tune. So there you go. That's just another little bit on vacuum caps and um, what uh, what a larger uh, vacuum cap looks like. Uh, so I hope you found that uh, interesting or useful, or both, as always. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. And I'll have to figure out a way of turning this record on and off while I'm sitting down. <laughs>